So this is my fuel setup for the Stinson. First time I've used a uh, header tank setup, and I was skeptical how it would work, even though many people have done it before. So this main tank, header tank, the uh, feed clunk, so the the vent, I'm sorry, the vent from the header tank goes to the clunk on the main tank. And then the vent on the main tank is the vent. Uh, this is where the carb would hook up. I had to clamp it off because when I pressurize and fill, um, it was shooting fuel out of here, which when it's plugged into the carb, I think it'll be okay. We'll see. Maybe I'll flood the carb. Who knows? Um, and then I have a separate clunk. So two clunks in the header tank and one for just filling. So no tea or anything. And... Um, so I'll go ahead and fill it. You see the header tank fill up. And you see the fuel start transferring into the main tank. And uh, one thing to note is the header tank doesn't have hardly, well, there's very little air in the header tank, which is pretty cool. I'm going to stop right there, but you can see the header tank is completely full of fuel. All the air is in the main tank. That's pretty awesome. Um, so instead of switching lines, they're both clunks. So just to simulate feeding fuel back to the engine, I'll just empty the header tank. You can see, even as I pull fuel out of the header tank, it stays full. And the main tank is actually the one that's dropping, which I was skeptical that it would work this way. But this is pretty cool. So and it'll drain all the way down. Obviously, no gas engine is going to feed fuel this fast or suck fuel this fast, but pretty amazing. There's hardly any air in the header tank until the main tank gets down to almost nothing, and then you start seeing the air in the header. That's it. Works. I'm surprised. Didn't think it would.